here at Tech Express in Broadfield and I'm about to speak to Sam uh, who is uh, with her brother Richard, a uh, joint owner of Tech Express and they do a fantastic job here um, fixing laptops and uh, a swap it service and I, Sam's about to tell you all about that so uh, I'd like to sit down and talk to Sam now. Hey Sam, tell us a little bit about Tech Express. You've uh, you started Tech Express yourself with your brother? Yep. Um, back in 2000, myself and my brother both worked for a corporate IT company. I'd been working them for about eight years, most of my working life up until that point. He also worked for them. I think it was into the third takeover, American takeover, and we were having to do a lot of travelling to our, uh, an external office up in Lancashire. And we were quite downtrodden and, and a bit fed up. And one day we were travelling back together and we were on the M6 and we joked that we should start up our own company doing the service that we were doing. And um, silence. Uh, then we started talking back, talking to each other on the M42. And um, by the time we got home, we devised that we were going to set up our own company. We were absolutely adamant about it. So we went to our mum and dad and they gave us some money to set up. And um, it sort of went from there, basically. We wanted to provide a service to companies that have a lot of people out on the road working, typically salespeople and engineers, who get very fed up if their laptop goes wrong. Because they already feel like they're, you know, not part of the organisation because they're travelling yeah. around the country. It's Typ a lonely thing to do. It is it? a lonely thing. And typically they think they're also the ones that keep the business going. You know, if they're salespeople, they're the one bringing in the revenue. Mm. If they're an engineer, they're keeping their customers' machines up and running. So that is the, sort of the main product of Tech Express. Our core business, as it were, is, is the Swap It solution. We um, hold client stock here and as and when there's a problem, wherever it is in the country, a job gets placed with us up requesting a machine and we send that machine to that person and bring back the full T1. So, so they're never without their own laptop, so they've always got one hand. Yeah, it's, it's a complete swap. So, yeah, that's job done. The courier arrives, gives them a nice, shiny working machine and takes back the one that's died on them. We then repair that, put it back on the shelf so it's keeping our customer stock maintained and looked mm -hmm. after. And job done. P you know, people are maximum to sort of 12 working hours down but a lot of the time even less than that you know we, we deliver by 12 o'clock the next working day so we keep them up and running you obviously found a niche in the market there because you've done extremely well let's go back a little bit after the m46 <laughs> yeah you started off in crawley town center didn't you next to yeah um, no, we, no, we were on the Manor Royal to begin with. Oh, you were? Yeah, we started off, our first three years were on the Manor Royal because we wanted to be close to the courier hubs because um, that is our main service provider. You know, we do all the repairing, but we use a courier to get that machine to that person. Mm. So we thought it would be better. So we started off there, um, quickly grew and didn't have enough space. We only had about a 1,000 square foot there, so... Um, and at that time, we were starting to support more and more individuals and, and SMEs. And in 2002, we actually decided that you know, we were going to offer that as a, as a service as well. Mm -hmm. um, and in 2003, we moved into Crawley Town, yeah. where we had a shop from. Yeah. Um, so we wanted people to know we were there. <clears throat> and we were also selling refurbished machines we buy back our, the machines from our corporate clients, so they, you know, they get a bit of money for them, and then we, we sold them on to individuals. Which is good, obviously, for the recycling side of things yeah. at the same time. Yeah, well. one of our biggest things is that we just, you know, people shouldn't just throw something away. Mm. As far as I'm concerned, you know, even if you had to spend £150 on a laptop that costs you four or £500, it's worth it, because, yeah. you know, it'll keep it going, and people do become, you know, I love my laptop, and, yeah... Without it, it's like losing you know, losing a limb. You know, suddenly you can't keep in touch with the world. So, yeah, we, we, we nothing gets thrown away if it can't be. Any machine that doesn't want... Maybe it is beyond economical repair. We'll break that down for parts so we can utilise that. Nothing gets wasted. Our scrap is really low. So, yeah, we did the shop for a few years. And, again, we, 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 um, we just didn't have enough space. So... We then moved to here to Broadfield and we got three times the space than we had. Um, and people now know that we're here, the Crawley sort of people. But most of our business is a national base. You know, people find us through Google. To, to get their laptop repair, they didn't even have to leave the comfort of their own home. We just send out a box, pick up their machine, and 
generally within five days it's back with them all repaired. That's a brilliant service, though, yeah. isn't it? I mean, yeah. That is brilliant. I mean, I, obviously for myself as well, my laptop is pretty much key to, to what I do with Crawley Happy Times. I yeah. take it everywhere with yeah. me, and I make sure that I keep in touch with Facebook, Twitter, keeping up to date, making sure the site's working, obviously, as yeah. well. Yeah. And it is a, a, a quite a major tool. I never realised it could be such a tool until yeah. I started using yeah. it. But like you, I wouldn't be without it now. Well, tomorrow we're actually launching a new service as well. It's our 10th birthday tomorrow. And um, we want to sort of give back. So we have our com- contract work we do for our corporates. We've now devised a solution whereby for a s- fixed fee per year, people can then have that assurance that if their laptop fails, they will get it repaired within that fixed fee. It's starting at £60 a year per laptop. So, um, and if we can't fix it within five days, we actually offer a basic internet machine so at least they can get to their email and, as you say, Twitter, yeah. Facebook, whatever is important to yeah, them. Absolutely. So we will actually provide that as well. If we were, if somebody was a corporate entity and they, say, had five, six, maybe ten salespeople that worked with laptops, what sort of cost would they be looking at? If they were to take out this insurance with, with Tech Express? Well, it starts from £60. I mean, if it's a laptop, you know, if it's a standard 15-inch screen laptop, no no sort of major um, bells and frills, then you're looking at about £60 a year. If and would that, be a, would that be for all of them? Or you're talking per, per £60 machine. per machine? Per yeah. machine. Yeah. yeah. The, I mean, you have to pay for the carriage to get it to us, mm-hmm. or we can arrange that for you. But that £60 is just purely for parts and labour, so when it comes into us. But, you know, we're also including accidental damage in there. So if you did smash your screen, you've paid £60, yet we're going to repair it. It would have cost you £150. It's like an insurance. Mm. There's no and two they ways also about get it. a replacement laptop while their one's being fixed at the same time. Yeah. So that's an added bonus yeah. as well, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, if they need it and they can't be without a machine, we will, within that price, we will actually loan them a machine as well. That's excellent value for yeah. money, yeah. excellent value. I mean, obviously, I've taken out insurances on, on you know, settees and stuff before. They don't replace my settee with no. a new one while they're cleaning <laughs> no. or, or fixing my old one, so yeah. I think that's pretty good value for yeah. money, yeah. It, especially in the corporate world at the moment. It's, they it's can, uh, the thing is... You know, we, we are very, um, you know, system driven here. Mm-hmm. It's not complicated. Yes, our engineers are very skilled and they're good at what they do. Their component level, they can go right over repair. Um, but it's it's not complicated. What what's not difficult, what really is I'm passionate about, is it's not difficult to look after somebody and make them feel like they've had a good service. Mm-hmm. I mean, we get testimonials every day. Um, in fact, we've had one today. We can't actually put it on the site because this woman was so angry with the previous people. <laughs> She's been very passionate about her <laughs> her, her test. But we get testimonials all the time yeah. about um, how good our service is, and you know it's, we're making a bit of money. That's what we're here for. But the biggest thing is that we're actually providing. We hope we're providing a good service, and someone thinks they've had value for money. So, I, I obviously I've known you for a while. I, I won't avoid the fact that we know each other yeah, anyway. Yeah, don't be yeah, through business. Yeah. And, and I was absolutely um, astounded by how quickly you grew. But of course, being a businesswoman myself would know instantly that that meant that you you were passionate and cared about your customers. Yeah, yeah. You don't grow, um, in my experience, obviously, being in business, uh, you don't see a company grow to the extent and level and speed that you have without giving that ex- something little extra. Yeah, I, I think that's why. And to be honest, we've had tough times. We're in a very competitive industry, mm. and it hasn't been easy. But what has been, you know, it, uh, we have had a lot of repeat business and lots of referrals and, you know, the kind of feedback we're getting from people. You know, we, we give out the little trolley coins. Yeah, it's a nice handy gadget for people to have, but it's got our telephone numbers. It's, it's all about awareness. And obviously we do get a lot of people coming back to us and that's what it's all about, isn't it? Because mm-hmm. it's, it's, it's your existing client base that actually keeps you going through these tough times. Sure. So, If there was any particular market place that you feel that you may not have been um that you may not have been so prominent in shall we say at the moment if there's a gap in your particular marketing right now and somebody may be watching that is in that particular niche is there any side to Crawley or, or the outskirts or anywhere that you feel are not aware of your services and you'd like to say look we're here we can help i think um you know a lot of people do know we're here because we've been in Crawley facing Crawley for about 
seven years. Mm-hmm. Obviously, moving back here, you know, we're off the beaten path a little bit. There are competitors in crawl, but I'm actually all for competition. You know, there is a. I don't know. You probably in, in a better position to know how many people live in Crawley, mm-hmm. but there's About a lot 100, of hundred thousand. A hundred thousand. So, um, you know, if if somebody, I, I think people use Google if they don't do it through word of mouth, and we come up, you know, in the top page. So, I, I don't. I don't know if it's necessarily Crawley. I mean, we. Really, the area is if somebody was to look at the, at the site, I guess, and knew of a business who had 200 plus remote workers, I'd be very interested to see if um, our service could be of benefit. Generally, and, and on the other hand, down to the individual people that yeah. are now, people are venturing more and more into the laptop side of things yeah. rather than the PC, yeah. especially with it's the iPads coming yeah. out. The sales so over took a few years ago yeah. and you know yeah. people want to be out and about with the netbooks as well. Yes. Um, yeah. Obviously, you know, it's much easier to have one of those. Households, you know, you have two point... I think 2.3 laptops or something mm. per household, which mm. is, is is incredible. But so would you like to say to them, look, we're here as well. We, we You're not just catering for the very high end. You're no. also catering for, for Joe Bloggs next door down the street who yeah. has a laptop. Oh, absolutely. We Yeah, we're, we're here for anybody. Mm. No, bus- no business is too small for us because, you know, if, if, even if somebody comes in and they've got a loose connection, like somebody came in last week, he actually travelled down from London and then he'd um, attempted a repair on his laptop. Um, his wife's laptop, and uh, unfortunately he squeezed one of the cables and couldn't get it to work. So he was very desperate. So he actually, yeah, he was in um, South London, but he got in his car, found us, drove to us. Mm. We repaired it while he waited, cost £20. He, he couldn't be happier, and then took his wife down to Brighton. You know, 20, whether it's £20 or £200,000, you know, mm. you know we, we look after everybody. Anything to keep the wife happy. <laughs> For him, yeah. yeah. He, I think that's why he was so relieved that he wasn't going to get a scolding later the that night. The doghouse wasn't looking so, so prominent for him. <laughs> well, yeah. I think you do a fantastic job here, Thank Sam. You, I know that a lot of people may look at the website, maybe like myself, because I, 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 I've learned a little bit more as I've gone along, to be honest with you. But originally, it was a little bit overwhelming for me. You know, I may have looked at what you did and thought, well, I'm not actually really sure what they do because it's very technical. Well, we have two sites. That's why now we've got the Tech Express site, which is our corporate end, and we've got the laptop specialist, which is for our consumer and SME base customers and we've tried to make that as focused on those kind of level of yeah. you know, just the 20 pound repairs speaking, yeah. terms, and you know. also on our site um, you know we actually have uh, essential tips things that people can do before even sending a machine into repair they oh. might be able to fix the fault themselves by going through our frequently asked oh, and, and, and really the hot tips good. that we have so yeah. you know I, if you rang me tomorrow and you said, oh, this had happened, this had happened, and I think you could repair it yourself, mm. you know, a lot of people get software corruption, I will talk you through that because I think it's important for people to uh, be able to do it. It's like having a car. Mm. You know, we should all learn how to change a tyre and put the oil in because we wouldn't necessarily know how to change an engine, but there are certain bits and pieces sure. as a laptop user that our customers can do, and I'd rather you be given that information and you can take glean that from our site as well so that you can actually do that yourself just don't go attempting changing parts like that gentleman did because yes you'd be in a doghouse with your wife if you <laughs> absolutely yeah. my, my husband would be in big trouble <laughs> um you say laptop specialist is that www.laptop specialist yeah. la- we are www. um the laptop specialist dot co dot uk and not no s on the end no specialist. we are the laptop specialist oh That's you what are we think. oh you are <laughs> I would like to thank you very much thanks, for talking Shelley. to me thanks today, Sam. Thanks for your time. I wish you all the best. No problem. Thank Cheers. You. Thank you.